glide baits, glide baits, glide baits. I'm seeing so many videos about glide baits and I don't throw glide baits or big swim baits. If you're brand new to glide baits or trying to take a first look at it like I am, this is the video for you. But if you're a glide bait angler, I would love your feedback in the comment session after this video. What's up fishing fam? Gramps here. Today we're going to talk about, well, glide baits. And realistically, I have to give a shout out and some credit to Brendan from the Brown Bait Co. for sending me this hand carved, hand crafted, hand painted glide bait that he makes. Now this young man is freaking phenomenal. I don't even think he's 18 years old yet, but he's an angler, an entrepreneur, and has already started his own bait making company based out of Georgia. But take a look at this beautiful handcrafted, hand painted glide bait that he sent me to check out as my very first glide bait to try to catch a bass on. And that's what we're gonna do. Now an old school angler been throwing jigs and spinner baits since the 80s, but this is something new to me, but something I see a lot of on the internet and a lot of catching big fish. Now don't get me wrong, I've seen folks catch big fish on big type baits. I remember the Castaic baits years and years ago when they would catch monster fish out like in California. But as I'm learning, hand painted, hand carved, quality big baits, they're not only hard to come by, they're expensive and they're very specific. But over the last few years, man, folks like Milliken and all these other big bait makers out there, Mike Buka with Bullshad, are now making them for like the everyday angler. But again, I gotta stop and take pause to say thank you to Brennan for sending me out my first ever, you know, big glide bait. I've picked up like some swim baits like Mag Drafts and the Six Sense Trace and things like that. And I just didn't have any gear to throw it on. But when Brendan sent me this, I knew I had to do something. So recently I was in the shop at my favorite sponsor of Fishing with Gramps, American Legacy Fishing Company, and I was like, Graham, I need a rod, a reel, and line to throw these big baits. What do you have for me? I went in that day looking for a Dobbins swim bait rod because I love me some Dobbins rods. But they were sold out and I didn't have time to wait. So what did Graham put in my hand? A Spro KGB swim bait rod based on a collaboration between KGB and Spro. Now, as I'm learning in the whole glide bait world, if you don't know anything about the KGB and Spro collaboration, well, here's a quick story right here. I'm Kevin with KGB swim baits. We've decided to partner up with Spro to bring you guys the KGB Chad Shad 180. Uh, this bait has been a long time big seller for me. Uh, it's one of my top selling baits, top producing baits across the country. And now we've been able to bring them to market so everyone get their hands on them. Uh, I'm still making these out of my own shop, but these are now gonna be available to everyone. Pretty much every brick and mortar store that carries Spro will have the opportunity to carry these. So the inventor of the Chad Shad hooked up with Spro to mass produce swim baits that are somewhat affordable for the regular Joe and available in all your fish and tackle shop. But back to this rod real quick. It's a seven foot nine heavy action rod with line ratings from 12 to 20 pounds for throwing baits up to from half ounce up to three ounce. So from a from a little research I did on it, you can see it's made in America. It's got a long handle, which apparently a lot of swim bait rods do for really being able to tuck this handle up in between your, under your armpits and really work in the action to give it what they call the chop of a lot of these baits. Now, as I'm learning, you have baits that chop, which are more of a deeper dive, and you have other baits that kind of glide, which is a more narrower, wider uh, retrieve. Again, I'm still learning as I'm going, but this is a beginner's course in swim baits because I am truly a beginner with this. I've paired this rod up with the 200 series Corrado K. The old Corrado Ks are on sale now. You can get them for like 150 bucks. 20 pound Seaguar and Vizix fluorocarbon because I love Seaguar and Vizix and that should do everything I want to do. But it's a nice quality rod. It's affordable. It's under $300. I think about the 280 price range. If you're shopping at American Legacy Fishing, use code GRAMPS10 at checkout to save you 10% on most items, including this rod, including some of the baits that I'm going to show you in a little bit. It's a 40 ton Torre Blank Fuji Guides, I believe, and Fuji Reel Seat. Uh, it's got a cork handle 
handle, an EVA foam butt grip thingy here. But uh, yeah, big heavy action rod. And I'm gonna use this thing for throwing all kinds of different swim baits. And I have this in a seven gear ratio retrieve or just right in the middle should be able to do anything I needed to do and of course why would I mention the KGB slash Spro collaboration if I wasn't going to talk about the point of the whole thing the KGB Chad Chad 180 yep 180 millimeters about seven inches these are 2.4 ounces I believe I got three different colors American Legacy Fishing has most of the colors right now so if you're if you're shopping for them better get on the site and get them before they get sold out I picked up a bone, which is very popular and pretty much works in any watercolor. Picked up the thread fin shad, and I also picked up the gizzard shad. Let's go ahead and just take these out of the box. But look at the color on that chad shad. That is incredible. They did a great job painting these. And you can see when I was talking about the chop earlier, how much this tail falls over to the side. And again, what that does is it can give it a real choppy action. And as you can see here, when you retrieve it in, based on your uh, real retrieve speed, you can fish it faster for a little more chop, or you can really slow it down and almost keep it in place, almost like a jerk bait with that chopping action that's a lot slower and more deliberate, if you will. Here you can see the thread fin shad, just gorgeous painted. Gotta love the paintbrush tails to keep the keep the action nice and smooth and realistic looking. Looking at it from the front, Looks really nice. See it comes with sticky sharp gamakatsu hooks. <laughs> I know because I dropped this and the hooks went straight into the carpet. Had to get a pair of scissors cut them out. <laughs> it's just nature of the beast. But again just gorgeous realistic looking bait. And watching a ton of videos before I sat down and shot this one. Man these things are really popular and really really seem to catch a lot of fish. As we're getting ready to head into the fall transition. You know, these bass are going to be feeding up, uh, getting ready for winter times. The thermocline starts pushing them up and, you know, these bass start loading up. These cooler nights and shorter days, man, it, the fall feed is going to be on. So I'm hoping that if I give them something bigger to look at, you know, I got a chance at a bigger fish. Wanted to do a quick first look at these new Spro Chad Shads as well as the swim bait rod and see what we can do over the next month or two chasing some hopefully bigger fish if you love fish and swim baits drop me a comment down below tell me your retrieve speeds your rod reel line combos you know just those little tips and tricks that might help me out as a new glide bait angler i mean i've been chasing big fish my whole life but uh this is this is a whole new world for me so i'm looking for your advice and your help if you're brand new to this kind of stuff too tell me what you uh tell me what you think so far about how realistic these things looking and if this is something that you're going to be interested in getting into it uh it seems to be a real <laughs> it for me I'm a jig and a chatterbait guy. That's the two things I live off of. But these, I've had success, I won't lie, on the little buka bull shad, uh, baby shads that, you know, we've seen in the past. And uh, little, little smaller, you know, imitation things like that too. But I've thrown a mag raft quite a bit this summer. Still haven't caught a fish on it. But these absolutely fascinate me. Something else I've been getting into lately that has just really been capturing my attention is chasing smallmouth bass. I have always hunted down bigger, fatter, green giants. And just over the last month, I kind of got addicted into chasing smallmouth bass after one good tournament on a creek where I just had a banner day. If you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link to that right up here. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories. One cast at a time.